Silver's Rayleigh really is hiding something. There are two parts in this theory, each dependent on the following manga panels. I will first just show you the manga panels, and discuss about it down below. Part 1 Let's highlight the obvious here. Roger and crew came to know about the Void Century. The reason Roger did not do anything about it, despite knowing the history was due to few reasons. They were hasty in reaching conclusion about the Void Century, which implies that they realized this bit later. Roger was ill and probably, if a war did break out, he was in no condition to be a part of it. Poseidon was still not born. I still believe the role of all weapons are crucial in achieving what the Great Kingdom really wants the people with the will of D to achieve. That being said, because of all or few of these reasons, Roger knew what he had to do. Ignite the flames of Will of D into someone. I will say he kind of took a risk here, but he bet everything on the line, his own life, in hopes that his words would someday bring along someone who will carry his will, or more so Will of D, to fulfill what he could not do. It's quite obvious that you can't do this by being a navy or world government against whom you must fight, so he ignited the flames in Heart of Pirates to start the Great Era of Pirates. And do you think, Rayleigh is completely unaware of this? Even in the panel he implies he knows why Roger did it, but whether that someone has arrived is something he is, yet unsure of. This directly links to what Whitebeard said to teach that he was not the man Roger was, waiting for meaning he was not the one that Roger hoped to carry that will. And all this points to Luffy. Ever since Shanks talked high of Luffy, Rayleigh wanted to meet him to see if he was the man to be. At this point of story sure he had his doubts, but now I am sure, he has his hopes on Luffy to finish what Roger wanted to. Part 2 I don't know how I even missed this part. I was one of those who always for some reason believed, Roger gave Shanks the straw hat in the town on that day as Rayleigh says above but if you go to the earliest chapters, 17 I think, on Buggy's flash back to Shanks, or even reference chapter 0, Shanks already had the hat before he got disbanded, along with others, from the crew. This to me implies, Shanks had received something special from Roger on that day, but clearly it is not the straw hat, it's something else. And this something else may be the location of the fourth road poneglyph. It's not like he gave Shanks in person but maybe gave him the information of its whereabouts and now, Shanks guards it until that someone arrives. Could this be the reason, why Shanks bet it in the new era i.e. Luffy? Could this be the reason, why Shanks wants Luffy to meet him as this great pirate implying someone who is capable enough to carry the burden of all and shed light of truth around the world of One Piece that Roger and people of D always had wanted ever since the Void Century? Asterisk Theory by Bybeck 070